All right, everyone, and welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you're new here. I'm Christina, aka that variety nerd, and today we're gathered here for more WWE 2K24 Women's My Rise, also known as the Unleashed storyline. So last episode, we uh, went through a number of stories, and kind of the main theme is that uh, we need to find our own identity and unleash our potential, and everyone's trying to leech off of us. So I think that that's you know that's what's happening. Uh, so, uh, we are almost done with the first set of stories, which is very exciting. So, we have Lightning in a Bottle with Tom, and then are we having fun yet with our pal Troy? And it looks like we have a whole bunch of mystery awards. So, that's exciting. So, as per usual, grab your snacks, grab your choice of beverage. We're going to work through these two stories in this episode. So, just get all settled in, people. It's going to be a wild roller coaster ride, to say the least. Hey, Cap! As a cameraman, Tom. I've been capturing your best moments in the ring and well, so hey, far, this works. <laughs> electrifying. But here's an idea to get even more eyeballs on you. A lightning fast, jaw-dropping match. Defeat Tamina in less than three minutes, and the higher-ups will have no choice but to grant you more opportunities. Listen, I mean, people are saying that we need to be acknowledged and now electrifying. Y'all, we better not be going over to SmackDown at some point, because you know the Bloodline's going to be trying to send somebody to take us out in this boy, at this rate, right? Oh my god, but let's uh, go ahead and uh, go after Tamina in under three minutes, which is not a problem for us. And uh, you may have taken a peep at the uh, new gear and stuff, so uh, that's exciting. There we go, people. Three minutes. In case you're wondering, my voice is a little bit off. Uh, I had a dentist appointment today at the time of recording this. So, uh, that was on Thursday. So, that's exciting. That is very exciting indeed. Oh, boy. Oh, what a maneuver right there from Christina Bennett. Uh, yeah, so I went with the gear because I really liked the pants and I found them in, uh, create a superstar, and I was like, you know, we need to keep upping up our game a little bit every so many episodes, right? Right. And that'll probably happen after this episode, too, because this is my only episode that I plan on recording today, unless things get interesting, uh, just because I need to take it easy today. But I wanted to make sure that I got the Saturday video uh, all filmed and, and, you know, all that good stuff. So that way I could just go in and edit either tonight or tomorrow, whichever one I'm feeling. Probably Friday. Because that's just how these things work. But I'm liking how this is turning out so far. I really like it. It's it's meshing with me. Uh, that I don't know if that's meshing with me, but all this is the look is meshing with me so far. And isn't that the thing? Like you're supposed to try out like little things here and there and make adjustments over time. We could change around the colors if and when we want to, and that sort of thing. But I went with those because those were the same colors that were on the TBD shirt and the logo and stuff. So that that happened. There we go. Well, that's because we know that we can't win by tap out necessarily, at least not right now. And I, I love that new finisher. I really do. I really, really do. We did it, people. Alrighty, come on. Let's get to the main story. I want to see what happens. We're at the end of an arc. <laughs> We've had such a weird start to the series, but I'm okay with it because character development. And, and we're learning more about everybody in the locker room. And uh, yeah, I think that's reasonable. Building a reputation and all that. Alrighty, let's keep things moving along. Lightning in a bottle, there we go. Okay, wait, we got more? Oh god, we got Shotzi too? Oh my god, what is her problem with us? Okay, wait, there was another arrow, right? No, there wasn't. Okay. Oh god, okay. Great stuff, you managed to pack in a ton of action into a tiny bit of time. The brass is going to be blown away. Thanks, Tom. We appreciate that. Okay, how many attribute points are we at? Okay, we're at 20. So I think since we have a submission move as our signature, uh, let's go ahead and bump that up a little bit. There we go. Okay, we're looking pretty good. We're at 89 overall. Oh, that's funny to me. Uh, why is Shotzi here? 
bet you're pretty proud of yourself. What did we do? I am. <laughs> Whatever. What did we do? Is that really all you have to say to me? Oh boy. So what if it is? Bye, Shotzi. That was weird. That was very weird. I don't trust where anything's going. Alright, let's go talk with Troy over here who... Can we just go to, like, NXT or SmackDown at this point? Because Raw ain't doing us any favors. How are you feeling? I don't want you to get too down on yourself. God, this guy stinks. <laughs> just don't click. What are you talking about? I mean, let's be honest. You haven't gotten as over with the fans as we'd like you to be. You must have been feeling the disconnect. I wasn't feeling it, but I am now. Don't worry about it, though. Some people have long, fulfilling mid-card. Oh. Careers, and we probably won't release you. Wait, is that a but threat? <laughs> if you ever want to be considered in the title picture, I'm going to need you to really dig into the team's ideas. What ideas? I've been doing everything you've asked. <laughs> be a good noodle. Be Joy, a good noodle. I've literally done everything you've asked. I've given it all a chance, even when I've disagreed with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but maybe you just haven't committed. Send enough. us to SmackDown, please. I see you try to try harder. That's your advice. Are you serious? <laughs> that and to wear no. the new gear I had designed for you. No. Trust me, a new look will change everything. We just Boy, made new gear. I told you when you pitched it to me before. I'm not wearing that gear. What's the problem? They used to call you the captain in TBD, right? I've heard that name around here, too. And Regal won't be happy if you don't wear the gear. You're telling me Regal wants me to wear that? Sure! Troy? Oh, no. Well, he may not know the details, but he wants me to help you. So, like it or not, I've been deputized. When you're ready to enthusiastically try this, oh my I've got God. you against Shayna Baszler. Send us, to, send us to SmackDown, please, or NXT. One of the two at this point, because this ain't... Uh, just get us away from Troy at this point. This guy's trying to sabotage He's trying to sabotage us. Fine. I don't like it. In fact, I very enthusiastically <laughs> don't like it. Me neither. But I'll do it. Please let the record reflect my enthusiasm. <laughs> Glad to hear it, Captain. Trust me, fans are gonna eat this up. Oh, and I forgot to mention, it's going to be a five-minute time limit match. Oh Just no! Cramped for time tonight. I'm sure you understand. <laughs> You're kidding me. I am not. Have fun out there. <sighs> I hate this guy. <laughs> are we having fun yet? I'm not having fun yet, Troy, because you stink. You're you're getting just as bad as Justine Janine was. At least Justine Janine is sort of looking out for us in a way <laughs> in this whole story. This guy is just trying to sabotage our career over here. My god. You're about to enter a story game. Playing will advance the story and you will be unable to return and play any optional storylines you may have not completed. Uh, are you sure you want to continue? Yes. I don't want to see this outfit, do I? I really don't. Oh my god. We're a literal captain. Wait, are those stains on the back? Please send us to SmackDown or NXT, for the love of god. Oh my god, get us away from Troy, please. <laughs> Or Christina Bennett, my god. <laughs> Get her away from this mess. <laughs> oh. Alright, are we gonna win or lose? Okay, I guess it's open-ended, right? Try to defeat Shayna Baszler. Well, we just won a three-minute match, but to be fair, that was against Tamina. So, there's that. God. <sighs> a literal captain. A literal captain. Just please, just get us away from Troy. I mean, uh, there might be somebody telling him to tell the things that he's telling us. So, I mean, it could go a little bit deep, but my god. This is atrocious. Oh, god. This might be on red and tray levels. <laughs> 
nothing can be as bad as that. Oh, please, just get us out of here. Ms. you're running SmackDown from my understanding. Can you please take us out of here, please? Shawn Michaels, take us in NXT. Pull some strings. <laughs> Knowing our luck, Troy's across all three shows, right? Also, has anybody noticed this? Again, this is before any other patches or anything like that. I don't know. We're recording this on Thursday. Uh, but is anybody else having trouble with the rebound attacks because it's only letting me do like one or two moves at most like the same move and not letting me have any say so in them and I don't like that there we go could you imagine oh snap Okay, the captain of submission. Maybe that works. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> A literal captain. Oh. I just, I can't, people. I, I can't. Poor Christina Bennett. Poor Christina Bennett. Well, I warned, and it was officially a disaster. You're telling me you didn't sell it hard enough. <laughs> Because I'm not at least. <laughs> oh my god. Not with that attitude, you're not. Maybe I can get wardrobe to add some more nautical rope for next week. Nautical rope, really? Can we talk to Regal? I've been trying to reach out. I can't get a hold of him. This doesn't feel right. Why, well, just try a little harder. I have a few strategies. I want you to try your next match, though. I'll message you the details later. My god. This is painful. Interesting new look, Christina Bennett. I look forward to inspecting the integrity the integrity of your watercraft. Wow, glad I broke ties with Christina Bennett. She has no fashion sense. Embarrassing. Hate to be the mean girl, JK. I love it, but great new look, Christina Bennett. JK again. Did anyone else think Christina Bennett looked like a duck? <laughs> okay, that one was kind of funny. Oh, please help us out, Geneva. Please help us out here. Oh, should I ask? Do you have to? Should I call you Skipper? Oh, God. <laughs> I'm sorry. Help. <laughs> Honestly, I can't with you. <laughs> I said sorry. But you totally can with me. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here to drown your sorrows in the small pond that is TBD. <sighs> is it that Troy guy again? Sucks. Yeah. <laughs> And I can't even get a word in with Regal to talk about my concerns. I get he's busy, but come on. Huh. It's not like you to have trouble getting people to pay attention to you. What's the issue? I'm overwhelmed. I'm not getting traction. Um, I mean, we were on the bump, and we had, like, a handful of just random things, but... We're, we're also not getting a lot of advice. Like, it's mostly just, like, find your own footing. Uh, but the traction thing seems to be the main thing. I'm doing everything right. But I can't seem to catch a solid break. I don't want to just be on the roster. I want to climb to the top. So you came home to complain at me. It uh. is kind of our thing. True story. At least whenever there used to be issues on the road or here in TBD, we'd put our heads together and figure it out. I can stand on my own, but it's a lot more fun to tread through the muck with you. Well, are you having any at least? Any what? Fun? <laughs> yes, but the politics feel like a chore. Oh my all god. The time, yeah. I still love wrestling and putting my all into matches, but the backstage politics feel like a chore sometimes. You're the one who told me to take advantage of this opportunity. I told you to say yes to the adventure, not to overthink it. Honestly, I think you're holding back a little. Right? Remember your debut? You didn't care about what anyone thought. You just went out there, and the WWE Universe loved every unfiltered second of it. You have great instincts, but you're trying too hard to toe the line. It's throwing you off. So you think I need to try to try less hard? You know what they say about trying to please everyone. 
everyone will love me and I'll be wildly successful. <laughs> All I'm saying, the captain I know would trust her instincts and speak up if something didn't feel right for her, regardless of the consequences. He certainly would have with me. Whether it was in the ring or on a boat. <laughs> Geneva, I'm leaving. Fine, fine. I'll leave you be. Hit me up if you need anything. I think I got what I needed. I'll give doing what they want another chance, but I'll make sure to say my piece too. Thank you. Oh, poor Christina Bennett. She can't catch a break. She really can't. Hey, I was looking all over for you at the last show. Can I get a few minutes of your time before the next Raw? Troy told me he already reached out to you, but your next match is set. You'll be taking on Natalia. That's not what I wanted to talk about. Can we chat? Oh, no. Regal? <laughs> oh, God. Are we coming out in that stupid outfit again? <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Once again, we have a we we have one reoccurring theme with Christina Bennett as a character. Christi her new name is Christina Can't Catch a Break Bennett. <laughs> she really can't catch a break. Oh, look at how happy we are to be there in that stupid outfit. I know we're cutting off entrances. We got we we've, we've got places to be. Okay, attack Natalia with a heavy combo. Watch, like, the Judgment Day or something crazy like that tries to, like, recruit us or something. Oh, my God. What if we get a bit of faction? Oh, no. <laughs> I don't want to end up in a group. That's the problem. <laughs> we spent, like, half of last year's My Rise in, like, a group environment, and I don't like that. Like, I, I sense Christina Bennett is more of, like, maybe she'll, like, team up with people if it's, like, towards a common enemy type vibe, but, like, she's better on her own. And not with the stupid captain thing. I mean, there's, like, sweat stains and everything on it. That's just nasty. And we, we don't need that negativity. We really don't. Nice knee drop right there. Oh, boy. Oh no. Nice counter right there from Christina Bennett. Natalia with a counter of her own right there. Oh, I'm so annoyed. <laughs> Poor Christina Bennett. She just can't catch a break. I mean we got a little bit of a, we've got a little bit of traction, right? We were on the bump. We had some smaller angles and stuff like that, so it's not like we can't do it. Alright, Natalia, we're gonna let you uh Escape the hold there. Wait, did that not count? Wow, that really didn't count. You jerks. <laughs> what jerks? That actually didn't count. I don't think it did anyway. Wow, so the submission didn't count. Okay. Even though it was our signature move. Got it. Makes sense to me. Okay, I totally pressed the button, but probably a little too soon. Beautiful counter right there. Very swift. Love to see it. Love to see it. God, I feel so bad for Christina Bennett. Could you, could you imagine? Oh. It's like this was really like a metaphor. German suplex from Natalia. All right. Oh, counter from us. God, I'm just so annoyed right now. <laughs> oh, God. Well, I mean, why are we still going with the captain theme anyway? Like, we just got here. We're, we're not the captain of anything in WWE, except for just fashion choices, apparently. Oh, that was my bad, y'all. Okay, let's try this one. Okay, well, I guess we did it again. 
Oh. Everything's fine. Nothing counts. Wonderful. I don't know what we were trying to accomplish there, to be honest with y'all. I'm like, oh my god, what is happening? Watch me get, like, fired because of this pass. I mean, he, he said, he said, he said the word. He said the word, right? I just, I don't trust this whole story. I don't trust anybody at this point. I mean, we've established this before, but still. Okay, look at us doing a springboard maneuver. See, we're wowing the crowd here, okay? That's just what we're here for. All right, what if we tried for a signature outside the ring? That might help us out a little bit, right? That might work. Hang on here. We might be on to something. We uh, get back outside the ring. Thank you. Okay, this this is not a good move. Oh no. There we go. Okay. Let's see if this will work now outside the ring. Okay, we did it. Okay, perfect. Meet Natalia by pinfall or submission. Well, I think we're going to go on that front. All right, we, we've got this. Let's do it. Perfect. That's all we need. We're good. Two. Three. And that's it. The captain has sunk the boat's battleship with some... Oh, come on. Give us a microphone. Give us a... <laughs> she stole the headset. Is really how you see me? You know what? I've done everything they've asked of me. I've done everything you all have asked of me. Wearing dumb gear. Playing nice with appearances. Taking oh, bad no. advice from WWE veterans. Oh, come on. Why are we doing this? <laughs> and you know what I've realized? No one knows my potential better than me. I am not you do? just a spoke on this wheel. And I am not going to wait until I'm at rock bottom to take control you kind of, of are future why didn't you just grab a regular this microphone my story oh god and I'm taking it back. oh my god the sweat girlfriend the sweat why don't you grab a regular microphone and get some water <laughs> are we still on oh boy this this is gonna get interesting and I think we're about to be future endeavored right right <laughs> god what a mess. Oh no. Oh what no. What are you doing? If you think you could just do whatever you want without any consequences. I... <laughs> that felt really good. It was certainly unexpected. Oh no, there's Regal. I don't recall a promo being planned for this evening. I already told her. Shut up, Troy. <laughs> I don't recall a promo being planned. Haven't seen that sort of fire from you since your debut. There's Justine! I'm not apologizing for what I said. And you don't, don't have to. anyone asking you to. But if <gasps> you have more comfortable places to be than WWE. Oh no. I'd be happy to release you from your contract. That's how it's gonna be. No! Yes, there have to be consequences for shut, shut up, up Troy. Troy. <laughs> but I have to ask. Why did you sign with WWE in the first place? Sir? Did you sign here to be comfortable? I didn't sign here to dog and pony show dumb creative decisions or feel like I should be thankful for every scrap. Oh boy. You're a talented wrestler. But you can do that anywhere. 
If you came to WWE to be a superstar, to do what you can only do somewhere with the reach of WWE, to not just do the work, but to live the fantasy, I'm going to give you the greatest gift I can offer. <laughs> Best of luck in her future. Uh, go away, Troy. Shut up, Troy. Troy. <laughs> Freedom. Get uncomfortable. Take big swings. Not just in the ring, but out of it. You want to be a WWE superstar? I think you might just have it inside you. I agree. Just promise me three things, and I'll have your back every step of the way. What's that? Put your whole heart into it, and don't be afraid to fail. It'll hold you back if you only attempt what you know you can do. Do That's those fair. things, and I'll make sure your spot here is safe, whatever happens. So, what do you think? I'm intrigued, and I'm in. Brilliant. But that was only two things. What's the third? Ooh. Oh, right you are. Promise me you'll never wear that. Oh, thank you, Regal. Outfit. That I never approved uh. ever again. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, Troy's trying to sabotage us. You've got yourself a deal. Ooh. The Great Bomb. <laughs> That's great. Are we having fun yet? Women's nautical captain's top. Women's nautical captain's hat. Men's nautical captain's top. And Okay. Ugh. God, that was not fun. Well, look, listen, I again, I she's got it in there. She's got all the potential in the world. She's got the personality. She's got the attitude. She's got the right ingredients. But I think she just needs the right people to be in there with. You know what I mean? She needs some coaching. She needs some guidance. All right, we got William Regal. Okay, explore stories. You heard William Regal. You really want to be a WWE superstar and live the fantasy? You better get uncomfortable and start having some fun. An explorer story is a new must-play story type that's a big swing and will take you to new places in your career. You will eventually be able to come back and play other explorer stories, just not a just not a way, not right away. So choose carefully, but not too carefully. After all, it's just wrestling. Oh, we get to explore stories. I love that. Okay, so we have Regal, we have Rhea Ripley, we have Alexa Bliss. And we have Liv Morgan. Okay, so we have to go with Explore Stories. So, let's see what we got here. Oh, okay, perfect. So, this is Why Brutality, The Evil Within, True Hollywood Story. Oh, was this where we had, oh, was this where we had the, um, oh my god, the achievements. Hang on a second here. Okay, first of all, we're going to get our uh, submission points up a little bit more. We're at 90 overall. Okay, perfect. So I'm wondering with those achievements in mind, are, are these kind of the pathways, right? Uh, let's talk with everybody first and get a good grasp on this, because I think this also collectively goes with the achievements, right? You're certainly making waves around here. No kidding. You make some waves yourself, in WWE and outside too. I try to keep busy. How do you manage it all? TV shows, movies, red carpet appearances? all on top of being a WWE superstar? That's a good question. You're making it sound much more glamorous than it is. It's a lot of hard work, a lot of hustle that no one ever sees or jobs that lead to dead ends. And with my schedule, I don't always manage it all. You don't? I gotta say no to a lot of stuff. For instance, they wanted to book me on this food web series and I can't do it because I already committed to a movie premiere on the same night. Can I do it? <laughs> That sounds overwhelming, to have to juggle everything. <laughs> yeah. Hey, if you're interested in expanding your reach into Hollywood, would you oh want my to God. be serious? <laughs> it's a pretty small show, so I doubt it'll be your big break by any means, but it could be a good learning experience. Just try not to let it explode like your experience. That on wasn't on us. Um, I'm going to pass for now. I'm not sure if it's the right move. Let me think on it. But That's it's a true. for the moment. No worries. If you change your mind, let me know. You'd be doing me a favor if I could suggest another superstar to take my place. All right, let's go chit-chat with Alexa Bliss. 
Looking to get a bit of training in before the show tonight? I actually wanted to ask you about some of your experiences in WWE. You've oh seen boy. a lot in your time here, huh? I am a five-time women's champion. I was actually wondering about some of the stranger things you've encountered. The weird, the otherworldly, the supernatural. Yep, Are this is all going down to the achievements. All that? Regal said I should explore everything in WWE. Why not? Of all the ways to become powerful in WWE, the kind of power you're talking about comes with a cost. Oh no. I I'm just asking a question. <laughs> no, just asking a question. Some of my favorite superstars in WWE have flirted with or embraced the supernatural. The Undertaker, Finn Balor, Bray Wyatt, you. Even asking is dangerous. You see some of what I'm talking about on TV, sure, but you don't understand how it works. There's a force in WWE, and it's looking all the time for anyone who's open to receiving its gift. I should right. back off. Well, thanks for the warning. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll back off then. At least for now. Good choice. All right, let's go chit-chat with Rhea Ripley. What are you looking at? Oh. What's with the attitude? Is there a problem? I'm looking at you, Rhea. Is there a problem? You tell me. What do you want? I want you to show me how to harness brutality in the ring. You? <laughs> you don't understand what you're talking about. We really don't. <laughs> okay, maybe that's true. Explain it to me then. Brutality is about more than just being powerful and fierce in the ring. It's <laughs> making people fear you and what you're doing next. I want to do the cooking it's show. <laughs> unexpected. It's bringing the chaos <laughs> without restraint. Is that bad? Interesting. Thanks for the explanation. That's that? I want to do the cooking show. <laughs> I want to do the cooking and show. Some thought to take yes, give me, <laughs> give me the cooking show. Give me the cooking show. Actually, my schedule cleared up. I'd love to. What's the show exactly? You've heard of Cheese, please. The internet cheese smelling Yes, show. Cheese! It's doing okay on social media. Hope you like smelling things. Big fan of smelling things. Right. Oh shoot! I missed that. Okay, so true Hollywood story. Uh, payback paparazzi. Uh, Mr. Oh wait, I didn't see the mystery rewards for the other two. I'm gonna go back and see what the mystery rewards for the other two. Okay, soul siphon, supernatural, uh, supernatural amulet. Okay, I don't. Uh, I don't feel this one just yet. Okay, well, there's no points associated with this one, or no awards. We're going, we're going, to, we're going to this. We're let's go to the cheese show. Okay, true Hollywood story. <laughs> this is gonna be great. Give us a cheese everything. We we love a good cheesy moment on these shows, right? <laughs> My rise is so cheesy, so it's fitting that we get to be on a cheese show for a cheesy story. <laughs> Wait, why are we in a match? I mean, I know that it's a wrestling game, but I thought we were going to a cheese show. I love how we can't even be bothered to just like, did we did we show up at the cheese show? Like, what what? Where, where's the cooking show? <laughs> Why am I so invested in this cooking show for no reason? <laughs> This cheese show. Alrighty, we got Zia Lee here tonight. Should be interesting. Attempt to defeat Zia Lee. Listen, I think Hollywood would make sense, right? That way we could probably tackle the other two because that way it gives us a bit of a foundation to be more adaptive to the other shenanigans. But can we just go over to NXT or SmackDown at this point? I, I suspect that we're not going to get too far on Monday Night Raw. And also note how there weren't that many stories for this go around. I suspect that also it's gonna like just sort of be one of those cases of like, okay, well maybe we gotta try out each of those three options and go from there. <laughs> this has been a treat though. I'm gonna I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm probably gonna have to trim that last bit down a little bit and be like, yeah, we, we made a lot of decisions and we went through everything. 
But I don't think anybody needs to see me be indecisive for 15 minutes, so there's that. Oh, okay, so I have to hold the X button in order to get... Okay, that makes sense. I was like, why is this not working? And then it was just like, well... Okay, cool. Like, I thought with the alternate signature, I thought you had to, like, hold the right bumper, or the right trigger, I should say, and press X, right? I thought you just had to hold down the, the trigger, but you have to also press and hold the button, too. <laughs> it's like, and how long have we been playing these games for? Alrighty, let's keep things moving along. Oh, look at us. Okay, hi there. Sorry for sending you a message out of the blue like this, but I saw you on Cheese, please. You had an amazing presence. You had, especially when you were waxing poetic about Cam, Cam or Bear. Uh, name's Alfie Juniper, and let me cut to the cheese, to the chase. I'd like to represent you. Sorry about the cut, the cheese joke. Knew was gonna be, a, knew was gonna be dumb the second I sent that. Shoot, represent me how- I'm sure you've got tons of agents slipping into your DMs, but if you choose to go with me, I can take your Hollywood career to new levels. TV, movies, maybe even video games? Are you for real? <laughs> I don't think Hollywood agents just DM people. They're interested. Oh, you'd be surprised. I'm bonafide as a rare age gruyere. <laughs> You're going to have to prove it. <laughs> I'll tell you what, you don't have to believe me right away. Let me make some calls and get some offers for you and we'll talk, but there's something I want you to do. I'd like to send some tape of your next performance to casting directors. I understand you're working with a co-star named JC Jane. Really play to the crowd. Show them the enthusiasm you had when you were tasting the Menchango. <laughs> Maybe rub it in your co-star's face too. Show me some range. Excellent. I won't have my people call your people, but I will be in touch soon. Directly. Oh my god. Okay, are there any other DMs? Okay, perfect. Thanks for covering for me. I've been so busy. Haven't been able to catch the show, but I sure, I'm sure you did great. See, look at that. Look at that. Okay, we gotta go to our match. Love that for us. Alrighty, we're going up against JC Jane. Here tonight. Start with a flourish of standing strikes. So do we get to do all three of those stories and then kind of decide our direction after that? I'm, I'm really curious about all this. Maybe this is going to be like a multi-part kind of thing. I don't know. We're going to have to figure this out somehow, some way. But either way around, it'll be interesting. Oh my god, what a weird story. And I mean, hey, we're getting outside of our comfort zone, right? That's kind of the goal. Show off your charisma with a crowd dot. We, we've got charisma. We've got personality. We just don't know how to channel it. We really don't. Taunt your scene partner. Oh my god. Finish the audition with a pinfall or submission. I mean, we can certainly do that. Well, I mean, she might kick out, but you know what? It's worth the effort, right? Right. We can do it, people. We can do it. God, what a weird moment. Like, we're about to... Be, in, earlier in this episode, we were about to be future endeavored, and now we might be on our way to Hollywood <laughs> without having won a title. <laughs> That's, that's actually pretty incredible, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but that might be a good thing, you know? Like, I mean, look at what's happening with uh, good old Logan Paul, right? Like, he didn't win a championship in WWE before making the jump from Hollywood. He did the flip-flop. You know, he went from Hollywood to, well, maybe not Hollywood, Hollywood, but you get the idea, right? I, listen, I can't stand the dude, but it is what it is. <laughs> But this could get interesting. What if we what if we dip out, go film a movie, and come back and, ha and come back with some personality? <laughs> Cause it's right there. It is right there. She's in her standing up for herself era. We're here for it. It just needs to be channeled a little bit better, I think, right? Right. 
she I think she can make the connection with the crowd. It's in her. She just needs a little nudge in the right direction. That performance of JC was brilliant. Some of it felt kind of silly. <laughs> That's what was brilliant. Acting is all about being in touch with your emotions. You totally sold it. I was blown away. I'm sure. Listen, I'm on the edge of... I don't know. Uh, please tell me that you know about this dude. I know you're just here to train, but I gotta ask. What was that about? What are you talking about? Your last match? Seemed like some pretty excessive showboating. Doesn't seem like you. That would be Alfie's doing. This agent who saw the web series and wants to represent me. I told him I'd try a couple things for him in the match so he could try to get me some jobs in Hollywood. <laughs> the web series? You mean that cheese smelling thing you did? Right. Oh, you want me to believe someone saw that and thought you had some sort of potential? I, I think it's because of the times that she's grabbing the headset that's what's giving us potential. <laughs> hey, I was great. Sure. What's the vibe on this guy? Right? <laughs> It's totally the latter. It is definitely the latter. That's the energy I'm getting. I've actually never met him in person. Wow. Oh, you're killing me here. Oh, I'm no! <laughs> no! Honestly, you may be right. I've had my suspicions. We haven't committed to anything. So far, no harm done. I'm focusing on my matches regardless. Not some probably fake internet poser. <laughs> That's why I'm here, right? <laughs> Training for my match? Just be careful. When whoever it is reveals themselves, I don't want you to get hurt. Don't send him any money. <laughs> don't send any money! Don't do it! Don't even PayPal him anything! Don't Venmo him! Don't PayPal him! Don't do anything, girlfriend! Of course not. Good. Thank God. Unless his family is in trouble or something and just needs to learn so his aunt can get surgery. Come on. <laughs> Alrighty, we're going up against Tegan Knox here. Love to see it, love to see it. Shine against Tegan Knox. <laughs> Wait, I, I, I'm just saying, like, if they really wanted us in Hollywood, like, there, there are plenty of people on the roster that have had movies or TV appearances and stuff like that, right? Like, couldn't we have just, like... Ask one of the people in the locker room, <laughs> like, to see if this guy is legit or not. Miz, you're over on SmackDown. <laughs> apparently, apparently he's the GM over on SmackDown in the My Rise and stuff, from my understanding. And I'm like, it, it, that's that's like his whole thing, just Hollywood Miz. <laughs> We are shining against Tegan Knox. Okay, the upper right. Oh, I went to the upper left. My bad, y'all. Okay, well, that's the lower right, I think. Wait, which direction are we supposed to go? Okay, hang on here. This is the upper. I think this is the upper right. Okay. There we go. Oh, no. Thankfully, it looks like Cap has abandoned the theatrics of her last match. She's getting down to business with Tegan Knox. Making use of her advantage to climb the ropes. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Cheese Lady! We are now known as Cheese Lady. Wait, that was Alfie, right? Yeah, no kidding. Again, Christina can't catch a break, Bennett. <laughs> That's what I'm saying! That's my exact expression right now! <laughs> God! Christina can't catch a break, Bennett. That's- that's- that's the name that's- we're just gonna go with around here. We've been going with it for a little while and I think it's sticking. <laughs> oh my God, what is this? What the hell was that? Right? Hi! <laughs> Sorry. Alfie Juniper, you're the flesh here. 
I know who you are, Alfie. Though I am shocked to see you exist. But what were you thinking interrupting my match? And that security guard almost put you in a local medical facility. <laughs> Nothing I haven't encountered before. I realized that the director might need to do another take, but I just couldn't There's help no it. second takes! Another take? That's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. <laughs> couldn't you help? I told you, I was on the verge of an incredible opportunity! Although, I may have misspoken a bit. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> I was on the verge of two incredible opportunities. And they both came through! <laughs> How would you like to be in a major motion picture? Give me a B-list movie! Is your friend shooting this in a garage? <laughs> not at all. I have two offers for you. Co-starring what? two top stars. I don't know. Uh, maybe you heard of them. John Cena and Dave Batista. Yes! I think they both spent some time in WWE, if I'm not mistaken. You're kidding. Nope. You're not kidding. Like I said, I made some calls and used my connections. Trouble is, they both shoot at the same time. So I need your gut reaction. Oh, Would no. Would you rather star in a blockbuster action movie with Cena or a quirky indie picture that's destined for award season success with Batista? Ooh. Ooh. Okay, well, I mean, either one could kind of work well. I feel like the action movie would be more in our comfort zone, and they want us to go more outside of our comfort zone, right? I'm understanding the story more now, right? Right. So, do we do the action movie and stay in our comfort zone as butt kickers, or do we take on the quirky indie film and and go outside of the comfort zone? I, I like the quirky indie film. I want her to be as uncomfortable as possible. I want a co-star with Batista. I love the fashionable outfits and Dutch angles of an indie film. Perfect! <laughs> I think there will be a strong hat component to your wardrobe, too. Yes! So you'll dig it. I'll let the casting director know you're in! I'll talk to your people around here, too. I'm sure when I give them my juniper charm, they won't mind you taking some time off to film. Oh, snap. Happy. Thank you. I gotta admit, I doubted you. But you really came through. Honestly? I mean, most people doubt me. It's what allows me to be sneaky. Like a ninja. <laughs> Guess what? What's up? I haven't had a chance to watch Raw tonight. Alfie's real and he got me a big freaking movie role. Wait, really? <laughs> wow, wow. <laughs> that's, that's exactly it. Yep, yep, yep. Wow, congratulations! I, I start now. I'm nervous. Should I be nervous? <laughs> you should be nervous, but you will do great. Just don't go all Hollywood. I mean, Hollywood Bennett, watch out, Rocky. We're, we're coming after you. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Or am I? <laughs> what if we come back from Hollywood and we have, like, Hollywood bet it that'll be perfect this actually makes sense too because we've been trying to figure out a look we've been trying to figure out a vibe with our girl here at entrance this is exactly the ingredient that we need taking some time away to pursue a dream in hollywood but don't worry our universe i'll be back soon oh my god look at the glasses look at the glasses that's amazing there's batista That's awesome. <laughs> Look at how quirky. First team to the set. I love this. This is a vibe. <laughs> Three months later, <laughs> the A-lister <laughs> get cast in a major motion picture. <laughs> and we already have a time jump in what? We're five episodes into this mess. Heard an exciting rumor. Word on the street is after after months of shooting that new movie, Christina Bet is making her return to Raw tonight. God, we couldn't have showed up on SmackDown or NXT. Actually, SmackDown would have been a little bit better. <laughs> Look at the pants! Hey, Regal. Ooh! Fancy. Well, this is certainly new for you. I guess Batista money goes a long way. <laughs> I'm hardly there. Yet. Let's just say I've done a bit of upgrading. All around. Oh, I love that for us. I wasn't aware the film came out yet. No, 
but there's been a lot of confidence in the suspicious sandwich based on the dailies. Well, in any case, we're glad to have you back in action tonight. Perfect. And I've made some minor edits to my entrance for my surprise return as well. You know, made it more bespoke to me. I'm excited to be back and bring some A-list buzz to Raw. Hollywood Bennett, here we go. <laughs> A-list buzz. Very well. I'm all for this. Look at that. I mean, hey, we're, we're getting there. We're slowly getting there. All right, what adjustments have we made? Okay, so far nothing. Well, that's okay. We haven't had really any sort of... Oh, look at that! <laughs> that's amazing! Okay, well, I like the gear. <laughs> There's Tom! <laughs> and from Cincinnati, Ohio, Christina Bennett! Okay, I'm not sure how I'm vibing with the, with the coat, but I'm vibing with the rest of it. I'm, I'm vibing with the rest of it. Is this kind of like the portion of the My Rise where we just try to figure out, like, what we're all about? <laughs> Again, we needed to send her to promo class for a little bit. But this is amazing. <laughs> Hollywood Bennett. <laughs> oh, this is just, this is amazing. See, again, we've been working on an entrance, like... We're working on these things, and not everything's going to stick. We're not afraid to fail. We've been showing that, right? We've been showing that to Regal, we've been showing that to everyone, and not everything will stick, but some things will stick. And I think the outfit's at least what's sticking. Sort of. At least the gear. I really like the gear. The glasses are kind of quirky. We're here for that. But the gear is a look. It's a fit. Cement your big return with a win by pinfaller submission. God, what a mess this has been, but I'm here for it. <laughs> and again, this should be out on the weekend, so if it's a little longer than usual, that's okay. Um, I've been trying to get the longer episodes for you all. Uh, obviously, it takes a little bit of time to record these things and then edit and stuff like that, but that's okay. I enjoy it, and I'm glad that everybody's enjoying everything. See, I like cheese as a sign. We, we knew, we knew it. We knew it when we were... Signing up for everything. Beautiful knee drop right there. I'm really liking this look for her. Look at this. I mean, maybe we take a little bit of everything from our adventures in this arc, right? Like, we take the gear from this arc. We take, like, the, you know, aggressiveness from Rhea. And we get to be a little bit acquainted with the supernatural things. Now, we get a little bit of exposure to everything. And we kind of, like bring it all together in a cohesive package and bridge our experiences together into the superstar that we are destined to be. I'm really liking the fit here. I'm liking the look. I, I don't like the coat, but I, that, that won't be a problem. We got everything else in place. All right, we kicked out right there. Oh, we got caught right there. Nice try, Zoe. Again, I know we could be a little bit more creative with our signature, but that's okay. It works for us. Woohoo! We won on our return. You'll love to see it. I'd add in some gloves. I think that might work a little bit, or some wrist tape or something. But I think we're on to something here. I, I think we are on to something with the gear at least, right? You know, we could have some cool color combinations and that sort of thing. I, I think we might be on to something here. Well-deserved win tonight. I'm pleased to see that even with all the extra trappings, you're still putting your work in the ring first. It's great to feel the rest of the WWE Universe again. I can't help but think that something's missing, though. I should bring even more of my star power to WWE. If you have a specific idea, I'm happy to pitch it up the ladder and see if we can make it happen. No need. Appreciate the offer, but Alfie's already been making some calls and the set is almost built. Wait, are we getting a talk show? Give me a talk show! Proud to see my client, Christina Bennett, story. But does he mean main eventing? That's what I'm saying. Like, he doesn't entirely get it. Give me a talk show, please. <laughs> Give me a talk show. Oh my god, yes! <laughs> 
This is amazing. Welcome to captive audience. <gasps> the best host in WWE. And Wait, what's the button for? Me. <laughs> Ever since I returned to WWE <laughs> from filming my starring role opposite Dave Batista in the indie film The Suspicious Sandwich, I've known that I have a special responsibility <laughs> to share the biggest news and mostest personalities with the whole of the WWE universe in ways that only I can. <laughs> Strap in, it's gonna be a wild ride. <laughs> Stay with me after the break where we'll be talking with the Dark Horse Universal Champion about his meteoric rise and grilling the finest of meats with Otis. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> this is amazing. That's our thumbnail. <laughs> Story complete. Okay, so we have Payback, Paparazzi, John Cena, My Rise, and Batista, My Rise, My Faction Rewards. Oh my god, okay, so we have Chelsea Green, we have Alfie. Oh, this is hysterical. So we've sort of unofficially went into the Hollywood story, which is kind of exciting. Well, I feel like it kind of makes sense in some ways, right? Right? Well, I mean, it says that we can go back and get some other ones there, so... It looks like we have Assistant Assistants and then Higher, stra higher Stratus. Okay, so I'm guessing that might have something to do with Trish, right? <gasps> mocap and mocap, no! <laughs> Oh my god, this is amazing. This has been a treat, people. Again, my apologies if this is a longer episode than usual, but this is so funny to me. I did not expect us to go down this path entirely, and I'm not mad at all at this. <laughs> Hollywood Bennett's officially here, people. We almost got future endeavored. What an episode. What a wild roller coaster that this has been, to say the least. Uh, we're going to just have to see what happens moving forward. Uh, and we got a talk show, and apparently a bus... Uh, this is wild to me. This is absolutely wild to me. Uh, but either way around, um, thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment, make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button so that you get notifications on here and that sort of thing. Uh, we are en route to 1,000 subscribers. Uh, I've had an absolute blast with this series thus far, and I hope you all have been enjoying just the journey along with me as well. This has been so wild, but I'm here for it. I want to see what happens. <laughs> either way around, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.